This is the honey badger. I've seen this. Honey badger! It's pretty badass. Look. Whoa, I love this video. Watch out that bird. Ew, it's got a snake. Oh, it's chasing a jackal. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I love this already. Who's narrating this? <laughs> I have to know. On all of the animal kingdom. It really doesn't give a sh**. <laughs> if it's hungry, it's hungry. Ew, what's that in its mouth? So look, a snake's up in the tree. Honey badger oh don't God. care. Honey badger don't give a sh**. It just takes it just what it wants. It just killed a snake. Whenever it's hungry, it just, ew, ew. and it eats snakes. Is it oh weird? God, I still find it adorable. Now, now look, here's a house full of bees. But look, the honey badger doesn't care. It's <laughs> getting stung ooh, like a thousand ooh. times. It doesn't give a shit. It just, it's hungry. <laughs> That's a badass animal. Here comes a fierce battle between a king cobra and a honey badger. Honey badger smacks the shit out of it. And the snake comes back and it lashes right at the honey badger. Dang, honey badgers are like tough. Badger, no, it's been stung. It's been bitten by the snake. Ew. So while it's eating the snake, ew, ew that's disgusting. Why are you showing me Meanwhile, this? the poisonous venom is seeping through the honey badger's body and it passes out. Aww. Look at this. Like nothing happened. The honey like badger a boss. Gets right back up and continues eating the cobra. <laughs> honey badger doesn't care at all. Course, I think all National Geographic like announcers like should be this guy. The honey badger. I love that video so much. Honey badger don't care. Like not a single f was given. He's like, let's do it. <laughs> So what was the main subject of this video? The honey badger. It was the honey badger. The honey badger and how badass he is. The honey badger. But also the voice was a big part of it too. If it wasn't for the guy talking in the background, I would be like throwing up right now. Had you seen this video before? No, this was my first time. No, I haven't. People at my school were referencing it and talking about it and I felt left out so I looked it up. Did you ever hear of the animal the honey badger before this? Actually, no, I've never heard of honey badgers before. I thought it was like honey boo boo child. <laughs> I thought it had something to do with that. <laughs> so I thought it was fake. I've heard of a badger. Badger, 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 mushroom. <laughs> How would you describe this narrator? Describe it? Can words describe that? It sounded like it would belong to someone who's gay, I guess. It sounded a little on the flamboyant side. I don't know how to say it and be politically correct. <laughs> Sassy. A Jersey Shore kind of accent, but like kind of like a gay flair to it. Can you imitate some of the things that he said? Honey badger don't give a sh Honey badger don't care. Honey badger don't give a sh I don't think I can make my voice go that high, to be honest with you. Honey badger don't give a sh That's pretty good. I practice. And why would National Geographic decide to let this guy do narration for their show? No way. No way. I don't believe you. I think the guy took footage from the National Ge Geographic show and then added, just added his voice in. Why would National Geographic let this guy do this? Because it's hilarious. That is like one of the funniest videos I've ever seen. For one, it had the National Geographic logo on the bottom, so maybe publicity for them. Maybe they think it's just so funny that they don't want to like even acknowledge that they know about it. Because it actually makes the animal interesting. I mean, it's good information and kids listen to it. In general, do you ever spend time watching nature shows or educational shows? Nope. Not anymore. Not at all. No. No, I have a life! <laughs> I like girls, and there aren't girls in nature. I think there was one point in my life where I watched a lot of Zaboomafoo, and that's about as close as I ever got to learning about animals. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. is that you don't know what Zaboomafoo is? That was like my life when I was a kid. If nature shows, though, were narrated or presented in this comedic way while teaching you about the animal, do you think you may watch it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I would watch them a lot. I would definitely watch it. Yes, I would watch that every single day. I'd be entertained while learning. That's a good thing. And who would win in a fight? The Honey Badger or Chuck Norris? Okay, okay. <laughs> just got real real. Honey Badger would win. Honey Badger. Chuck Norris, duh. Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris always. Let's say that it's the Honey Badger versus Chuck Norris and Chuck Norris has a Nokia, then Chuck Norris is gonna win. But just plain, they would like collide in midair and the universe would explode. Totally worth it, but still. Honestly, I hear Chuck Norris jokes all the time, but I don't know who that is. Why do you think people find this video so funny? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Flamboyant stuff is is incorporated into comedy in general. Look at Daniel Tosh, he incorporates a lot of homosexual like, stuff like that. I think it's because he cusses. That just makes it. It's the contrast between the language and the actual content of the video and putting them together. And if you were walking down the street and you saw a honey badger approach, what would you do? Run away like a little bitch. I would run the other way. <laughs> First I would take a picture and then I would run away. I would narrate, narrate, it's every action. Honestly, I'm gonna try to catch you. That, I want one of those as a pet, that's sick. Get 
out of wherever I am. Climate, ch no, honey badgers can climb trees, can't they? Oh. And finally, a very important question. How is it possible that you played Angie Jeremiah on the grass here, <laughs> but somehow you're playing a completely different character now? Uh, cause I don't care. <laughs> she got attacked by a honey badger, apparently. Sorry. Bye, Angie. Thanks for watching Teens React. We'll be back soon, so make sure you subscribe. To watch the later reactions, click the box below. Or don't, I don't care. Thanks for having me on the show, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And remember, honey badger don't care. Bye.